Welcome to more adventures in my apartment. Either go big or stay home. So here's the problem. I've, for the past three days in a row, I've been late to work. And if it happens again, I'm gonna get fired. And that, that's not good. So, obviously, I have to revise my morning routine a little bit. Um, I have a pretty loud alarm clock. It's loud enough to wake up all of my neighbors, but not me. Um, I've tried all the different techniques, moving it farther away from the bed, but it didn't work. I press snooze eight to nine times a day. That's over an hour of snoozing. I don't even remember pushing the button. So, here's my solution. This is phase one. If this doesn't work, I'll move on to another phase. Um, this is my alarm clock over here. I moved it to the bathroom. This alarm clock uh, it's Phillips, and it's pretty loud. Let me give you a demonstration. See, I have to raise my voice just to be heard over this obnoxious little thing. So it's pretty loud. But here's what I've done. Because I can't hear the alarm clock in the bathroom from my bed if I can't even hear it when it's next to my bed. So, I've spent the last three hours adding these components. This is a double pole, double throw switch, and it diverts the power directly from these front speakers to these outputs here. Let me plug it in. That's not good. Hold on a second. Alright. Let me give you a demonstration. So we'll follow these wires up the wall over the corner, over the shower, down through the door, back up to the ceiling, across the corner, over the potted plant, down the wall, to these home theater speakers directly above my bed. So the idea is, is that when it's going off in the morning, I have to physically get up and walk to the bathroom to turn it off. And since I'm here, I'm right here by the shower. So, I, I don't know, it seemed like a good idea. Phase two, if this doesn't work, phase two is I have a Lego Mindstorms kit. And I'm going to build an actuator to turn the shower on when that alarm starts going off. That way I have to physically get in the shower to turn the clock off. But hopefully this will be enough. Let's see if it's loud enough. I hear noise. So if you're laying in bed and this thing starts going off, right? And this concludes this episode of Adventures in My Apartment. Wish me luck tomorrow. I'm going to need it.